In this video we're going to have a look at how we can set the size of a TK Inter window. Earlier in the playlist we looked at this snippet of code and we can see that there are three program statements. These statements are necessary in order for us to use TK Inter. This one imports everything associated with TK Inter so we can use its facilities. This creates the window and this here is the main loop that's necessary because it will sit there going round in the loop waiting for events to occur. And of course when this program runs what we will see is this here. We get the default window for TK Inter. I am now going to add two program statements to the code you can see in front of you as shown here. These are the two statements. If we look at this one first, this is a message to my window that's going to invoke the method title which takes in as a parameter demo and demo is going to be used to alter this position here, the title of the window. This line is another message that's going to invoke this particular method and we can see that we're going to take in this parameter where background which is going to be the background color is assigned this number here and we've seen this earlier in the playlist this is the red component this is the green component and this is the blue component of the color so when this program actually runs what we will see is this and you can see here that we now have demo as we should expect because that's what we did with this program statement we set the title to demo and this program statement was responsible for setting this color here this program shows an amendment to the code we've just considered here you can see that I've commented out a line of code and here I've included a different line now in both cases you can see that the configure method has been used on this line I have added two additional parameters here you can see I've set width to 400 and height to 200 but I still have in this position background and background equals this number now that bit of the line you can see is the same as this so in other words to this program statement I have effectively added these two additional parameters these arguments width equals 400 and height equals 200 what I also want to emphasize is the fact that you can see here I've got commas so that means I've got one two three parameters three arguments and those arguments are going to be passed to this method here and this method is going to use the three arguments to set the window and the window it will be producing is the one shown here and you can see that in fact we have got the color still green based upon this background equaling this number but we can also see that the width and the height are different there we can see we have the width and of course that width is being based on this number 400 which means it's 400 pixels wide and of course if we look at the height we can see that that height has been based on this number here 200 pixels so we can see that the height of this window is not as large as the width and that should be the case because you can see here the width is 400 and the height is 200 let's consider another example of using the configure method and we can see on this particular line I've set the width and the height to 200 and 100 respectively and the background color I've kept the same as the examples we've seen so far in this particular video now if I run this program this is what we can expect to see and you can clearly see that the width is bigger than the height and that's because the width is 200 and the height is 100 I'll now go on and alter this program as shown here and the alteration can be seen in this position I've just set the height now to 300 and previously this was 100 everything else remains the same so when this program executes this is what you get and you can clearly see that the height of this window is much bigger than the height of this one and it should be because obviously I've gone from setting the height to 100 to 300 but if you look carefully you can see the width is the same which again it should be because in both cases you can see that the width has been set to 200 
Before I finish this video, let's just take a quick look at this computer program here. It's the same as one we've already seen in the video. And when the program runs, what we're going to get is this window here. And you can see it's got a width of 200, a height of 100, and it's got the same background color that we've seen before. Now, all I'm going to do is to alter one little bit of the program, as you can see here. Now, this line you can see I've commented out and the line below I've altered in the following way I've put this here BG the two letters BG which are a shortcut for this word here background now Python allows you to do this for this particular configure method it says look you can use background or you can use BG it's one in the same thing so if it is one in the same thing we should see that the window we get is exactly the same as the window we can currently see so if I click on and you can see that the case now it's up to you what do you want to use do you want to use background or do you want to use BG you're going to come across both but it's entirely up to you now if you were programming commercially your software house would have a particular policy on this I'm not bothered which way you use them you're going to come across both but I favor this one here I favor the use of background because it tells me clearly what it is I prefer if it said background color actually but uh, it doesn't but you can see that it says background and you have to realize that it is the background color or you can use the BG as it appears down here. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.